good morning. It is officially spring now when you're seeing this. Um, it has been spring for almost a week. So it is gonna be a beautiful 65 degree day today. And so I thought I would just share a vlog with you of what's happening. My husband is helping a friend shingle his roof all day today. So it's just us girls, myself and my two little ones. So we're just gonna hang out today. I have a Facebook Marketplace pickup in a local town. And so I'm just gonna bring you along on whatever today happens to have occur. So let's get started with um, some stretching, some playing with the girls. Breakfast stuff is all done already. So it's time to move on for the rest of the day. I cut out an animal shape. Yeah, all of it. This is a moment. All right, on my way to go to the Facebook Marketplace, um, there's this giant dumpster. This is a thrift store that is in our town that they're just throwing all this stuff out. So, um, it's really full. Lots of just empty boxes too, but I'm gonna take a look here for a second and see if I can find anything. Like, I don't know if I could repurpose anything at all. Screws, nails, broken liner basket, chair, bandanas. It kind of looks more like just junk than anything, so probably won't find a whole lot. I don't know if I really even want to take it, because if they're dumping it, it must not be real good. Oh, an Easter basket for Neve that might be kind of fun. Or both girls. Maybe I'll grab one or two of those just to have. Yeah, there's just so much, and it's buried, and yeah, who knows? Some of the good stuff is probably at the bottom and I'm not gonna get in the dumpster right now. Not gonna happen. All right, well, I am here um, to pick up the chair, so I'm excited to see what they look like. <laughs> okay, so I did not get the chairs. We ended up having a large box, a toilet that we needed for our little fixer upper in the back, and I didn't realize that till I got there. And the chairs are brand new, so we're gonna get them tomorrow um, because they are $25 a piece. I asked for 25, they were 50. And so I definitely want those chairs, I think, and they're American made in Texas, which is cool. But dumpster diving here, I'll show you what I got. And then I did buy one rack um, that I spent $2 on at that thrift store. I didn't know it was even a thrift store. So that is kind of cool. Um, so here's what I did find. Okay, so I bought this. This is my third peg rack that I own, but I like them and they are very versatile for decorating and using. Okay, so then for free stuff in the dumpster, I thought this would be good for an Easter basket. This was a last minute find. Isn't that just gorgeous? Um, I hope it was free. It wasn't in the dumpster, but it was on the outside of that thrift store that they were getting rid of. Um, so I'm hoping that's okay that I took that. Um, I got this Pyrex pie plate, either to have over at our little house for people to bake stuff in, or it's just nice to have for extra little pies, it looks like. These are size 11, they're really kind of gross. I don't know if I'll sell them or keep them. And then just a couple of books that are worn looking to decorate with neutral 50 object talks. I don't know, I don't really care what they look like, but this one's even pretty on the cover. So I got that. 
Um, then I just grab this little Sterilite container to carry this stuff in. And then this I found that is, I thought, so pretty. It actually even works for spring. So I was kind of excited about finding that in the dumpster. So I know random um, dumpster diving here, but kind of fun. It has grown into a seedling. It will be planted outside. What three things does the seed need? What three things? Try to find it. Water, sunlight, Dry. and soil. Okay, the girls are napping. Well, this one is not asleep quite yet, but there's just some things I don't always show you. So I did Barkeeper's Friend the sink here, and then I just did the stove top too, because it really just makes it shine. So yeah, I just don't always show you everything because I do that quite often, so I did that. And then let me show you my seed starts that I have. Okay, so last year I put them on my washer and dryer and that worked so well. So I just have this seed cell tray from last year that I cleaned out and I have broccoli that's coming up and then I planted some green peppers and some snapdragons which are slowly coming up. So that's been fun to see grow because they've been in there for like five or six days now and i didn't plant cabbage this year just because i didn't take care of it well last year so i decided just to forego that and then i also have given to us by um, one of my husband's employees some thyme and then i transplanted the basil she gave us so that's fun to just see all that life coming up so much better if you're not a gardener it may look just like a mess but when leaves are there and I hadn't trimmed down my grasses that just that honestly makes me feel much better we still have a lot of our crab apples on the ground that I'll have to rake up some more um, but I did put some leaves down here to help protect my snapdragons because I listened to a homesteader and they said they did that and they're in our zone and they said it worked and they came back and that's not usual. So I tried it. We'll see if that works. It wasn't a super cold winter. So um, let me just show you around my garden here a little bit. So here's kind of my cottage style garden. I need to trim back my roses. I should do this in the fall, but I didn't get to it. I also realized I overplanted, so I'm going to have to um, separate some things out. Yeah, there's my shadow, guys. <laughs> um, and move things around a little bit. So I have this garden here, and then it goes just down the side of the garage a little bit. So right here is where my corn and beets and beans were last year, and I'm gonna make that more of my flower perennial garden as well so maybe have like a little pathway here and then it'll go around the garage because on the back side of our garage there before our shed I have another garden so it might be kind of a fun little walkway have an arch eventually with this um, climbing rose bush so that would be really pretty I think
Well, it is now Sunday after church, so Sunday afternoon already. Um, the rest of the day kind of just went really fast. We walked over to the place where my husband was shingling at a friend's house and spent the rest of the evening there. So there was not much else that I wanted to pick up my camera for and film for. However, today though, that thrift store where I went dumpster diving at is actually open and everything in there is free. So I'm gonna go over, my husband's over there now. Um, he went over to see what is in there and I'm going to head over and we're just gonna alternate to see um, if we can find anything. And then I am gonna go pick up those chairs uh, this evening and so i'll just share a little footage of that with you as well because i thought you might enjoy seeing what they look like and seeing it some more free thrifting which i know a lot of you love seeing when i go thrifting so that is gonna be today we just ate leftover pizza for lunch today so like i said not a whole lot of cooking or anything like that yeah i just thought i would share with you that i didn't pick up the camera again after like three o'clock yesterday so that's how the days go sometimes. Okay, so here's a few of the things I took free. I thought this would be cute in a little fixer-upper in the kitchen or in my house, of course. And then this piece of art, it's relatively big. This fun little bud vase to put some like rose stems in or something like that. And then I dug through the box of clothes. This is a large, so maybe a little bit big for me, but it's a three-quarter length sleeve and it's blue and cream. This is a skirt that I thought I would try. <laughs> My husband's got Nadia behind me. Then this for Nadia for the summer. I don't know if these shorts would fit me. If not, it was free so I can donate them again. And then this for a friend who's having a little girl. So it was very picked over and they'd thrown a lot in the dumpster already. But like I said yesterday, I found some stuff in the dumpster. Kind of fun to find some things free. So I decided to make some banana, sourdough, einkorn flour, um, some bread actually. And so it's gonna rest in the fridge for about four to six hours and then so I'll bake it tonight. So just nice to have that as like a breakfast side or as a snack too. Here are our, are our chairs that we picked up from the Facebook Marketplace pickup that I needed to get yesterday. They are not stained yet, so that's the raw wood, but I kind of like that look. So we might stain it a little bit, right? Sure. Possibly. Um, they had eight, we got four for 25, and then potentially get the rest of them because they would match our table in our each. house, 25 each, yeah. So, um, yeah, because we have darker chairs like that. But these chairs will be fun to have for our little house. Mm -hmm. 